And welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. Age is not a factor for this Texas couple. Kathy and Devon met on a hookup site. The, are they touching tongues? And they are now engaged. They're not like most couples you'd see. Devon is 27 and Kathy is 74 years old. Kathy's a great, great grandmother. And Devon says even reminds him of his grandmother. I talked with Dr. Angela Jones about their age dynamic right there. Is there a problem? 47 <laughs> years. Is there a problem, Dr. Jones? I mean, yes and no, right? So, uh -huh. I mean, that's a long time. That's a, that's a huge age gap, right? On average. That's a whole person age gap. That's like right. I a mean, middle aged person in the middle of them. <laughs> right. And they're telling you she's a great, great grandmother. I mean, there's a whole bunch of persons in between that. But <laughs> like, the average age gap in a heterosexual relationship is like three years, like on uh -huh. average, right? So clearly they are way, way on the other spectrum of this, right? But what is the problem here? I think the people are having a problem because honestly, it, I think people are having a problem feeling comfortable seeing something like that. Like it can make right. it feel kind of cringy, right? Mm -hmm. You're seeing, um, you know, a couple that's clearly age difference. They're different race, different age group. And I think the age and the race is the the thing even though they're only talking about the age i think the racial difference between the two of them she's is white awesome. he's black correct i think that's creating some kind of like what's going on here right because the people look at him and say are you using her trying to wait till she dies so you could get whatever she has and people are asking her like what is wrong with you why would you want to be with somebody so young are you like do you have some pedophilia kind of thoughts in your head in regards to that, even though he's an adult? Mm -hmm. But honestly, the uncomfortability is everybody else and not them. They're saying that they're happy. They make each other happy. They're going to get married next year. And, you know, they have great things to say about each other. Why not make, you know, just be happy for them? And, uh, and, and it seems like her whole family has accepted it, except I think one of the daughters. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it seems like everybody sees the benefits of the relationship. They're happy. They work well together. They communicate well. You know, apparently when they first started dating, they had a lot of sex. So, I mean, that's great too, right? So <laughs> why not be happy for them? I think we feel comfortable as a society because of what, you know, culturally what we're used to seeing something like that. Because it's kind of like, what what is happening here, right? So right, it's hard right. for us to compute it. And I mean, it's been going on forever, though, Dr. Jones. And why haven't we been able to be comfortable with it as of yet? You know, when you think of being in a relationship, you think of commonalities, right? So you try to think of, do you have common goals? Do we want the same things? Do we want the same things in the future, right? And so a lot of things are prevalent that it's not going to happen. If he has no kids, she can't give him kids, right? How long is she going to live in comparison to how long they're going to be together? You know, apparently she's on a walker right now already. She's already, she's not mobily able to do certain things. Like, how does that work with a 27-year-old healthy man right so there's right. some things that you know they do need to make sure that they're they're in the same space but like i said earlier if they're happy and they do have the same goals say he doesn't want any kids and this is what he wants he likes the companionship he likes the partnership then i mean more power to them <laughs> now could you know obviously they say they're happy they love each other and they're getting married but could public pressure take a toll on their relationship where people are constantly comparing their ages? Mm -hmm. uh, some may be bold enough to compare their race. Right. But do you think that will take a toll on them at some point? It can. It definitely can. I mean, our social circle, our family, our friends, and I guess other critics, even though we try to you know, make it seem like we don't care, we do care, right? Mm -hmm. She's especially gonna care if she's unable to see her grandchildren or great grandchildren or children. Like that's gonna impact her. And she's gonna have to ask herself, like if they weren't in the same space of agreeing with it, she would probably have to question like, is this worth it? I think the fact that her family is on board and they're okay with it has made it easier for this union to stay the way it is because they're supportive of it. But if they weren't supportive of it, she would probably have to make a decision in regards to like living a life with him or like losing contact with my family. And unfortunately, that is a thing. We care about our family. We care about the people around us and we care what they think about us. All right, Dr. Angela Jones, for those who would like to get more information about you and from you, where can they find you? 
Uh, you could go on the internet, type in my website, AngelaJonesPhD.com, or go to Instagram at Dr. Angela Jones. <laughs>